So I read one sentence of a Spectrum Frost from John Crew, and we got to share this with you guys. Holy. Uh, 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 um, oh my God. Uh, I have to, yeah, I got to do a bunch of stuff. We got to go to the Star Citizen YouTube channel first and foremost. We got to go all the way back to CitizenCon 2023. Where's that? Where are all the CitizenCon 2023 videos? Here, let's just, let's do this together. Scroll. We don't have to scroll very far because, uh, you know, they didn't do much that year. Uh, I believe it is Destination Adventure. I do believe it's Destination Adventure. And if we scroll, you know, where do we scroll? Where do we scroll? What are the ships that are going to be doing base building, Mr. Todd Pappy? Would you look at that? Let's let's quickly just watch this real fast. You can produce from small, medium to large to XRL or XL. So, so there's the vehicle that you know, basically is what we saw at CitizenCon. Behind me is a mule, which is uh, was obviously replaced by the CSV. With the surveyor tool, you can only build the small buildings. With a vehicle, you can build small and medium-sized buildings. And then we don't, we have not seen this, this Argo Atlas platform. This may have been replaced with that tall tower. With the Galaxy. With the, like, literally stated with the galaxy. See, you can build small to large structures. And then obviously people cheer. And then obviously with the pioneer, you'll be able to build these other things. Very interesting, right? You can't change plans like this to sell another spaceship. That's kind of really messed up, right? So everyone assumed, uh, myself included, that ah, they just didn't mention the galaxy, um, but it'll still have its module. Ready for this? Huh? We plan to talk more about this at, at IAE, as that's generally where we give big updates across manufacturers. But a lot of people are discussing this very topic at the moment. So I want to add some clarification in advance. There are no current plans to have a base building module for the galaxy. That doesn't mean that there will never be one. But there is nothing concepted, planned, or in the production schedule. The Star Lancer BLD will be the ship that can build large structures with when base building is available in game. The only confirmed module in addition to the ones on the pledge store is the manufacturing module. The general rule of thumb for all things here is unless it's on the pledge store or available in game, treat it as speculative. How the fuck can anybody treat the like game director going on stage and saying it will be there? You literal fucking spaceship guy definitely gave a a 3D model of that ship for that game director. How the fuck is that speculation? This is literally a clown fiesta company. I swear to God, this is so crazy. You, How much is the galaxy? How much is the galaxy? Five, $380? How much is it with th that module? 380 with no modules. Did people assume the manufacturing module is the base building module? Because I would assume those two things. Yeah, it was like coming later, the module, right? Actually, was, wasn't that what it was? It was like coming later, they'll make the module. 500 for all the modules that are currently available. Let's go with $380. That's still insane. I bought it with all their currently available on their word. Like, if you can't trust them coming on stage at CitizenCon, when can you trust them for something like that? Yeah, let's just let's look at the page. 
This is so insane, dude. You can't, you can't just turn around like that and say, you know what? This random ship that is no different than this other ship is just no longer going to do this thing, even though that's why people bought it. Uh, that's actually pretty messed up when you think about it. Like manufacturing and other models coming at a later date. Okay. Um, cool. But how do you how do you allow somebody like Todd Pappy to go on stage, say that stuff, and then a year later just change your mind after you've gotten everybody's money? Like this is so much, in my opinion at least, this is so much worse than saying than than releasing a Hornet Mark II, having it be incredibly overpowered, and then reducing that power. This is so much worse than that. Right? This is because what does Star Citizen play off of? They play off of, you know, let's put the dream in your head. Artesius, I already played it. Uh, like, I'm way ahead of you, man. They, they already played it in your, in your head of what it's going to be. And it, it's... Th this is... That, that's so nuts to me. Like, I didn't buy it, but I feel really bad right now for people who did. Right? Like, better or worse than Scope Premium Project revealed in October 2011? Way worse. Because they have this, they have this ability to say, you told us to Scope Creep to the community because they, they did. Right? Like, they have that out. Um... You don't have an out for this one. You got on stage at CitizenCon and said, this ship is going to build bases. And people, you know, didn't... You have a $380 ship, which is significantly more affordable than a nearly $1,000 ship in the Pioneer, right? So it, it it's like the price is perfect to bait hundreds if not thousands of people to buy this thing and bring new money into the game but on a on a blatant lie like this i do not call these guys liars i do not call these guys liars because i don't think they get up on stage and lie on purpose a lot of people do i do not this is a blatant lie and a really big problem i know like, I know that Todd Pappy was one guy and Richard Tyrer is another, but I don't know how we do this. How How is this a thing? I have no idea. What is this sheet? Yeah, this is useless to me. It's Todd Pappy's words. I don't care about some fucking sheet that a Redditor, a Redditor made. Like, it's what matters here is that Todd Pappy got, got on stage and said... This ship will build it. They collect money and then just pass go and don't give a fuck about anything else. I feel really, really, really bad for people who bought the, that ship. I normally don't feel bad for people who buy things before the game comes out because they want an advantage. Honestly, in a lot of ways, you get what you deserve. But you're get what you deserve is a less enjoyable game because you skipped all the fun. You skipped all the progression. You are ruining the game for everyone else. The game is getting worse. You do not deserve to be lied to by the game directors of this company and then other people to come in and just say, oh, after getting your $380 minimum, we changed our mind. And by the way, a game director getting on stage and telling you that a ship is going to have this mechanic is not to be treated as speculative. CIG, you're 12 years old, 13 years old as a company. Grow the fuck up. This is fucking child's play. This is this is a clown, clown show. This is kindergarten shit. Don't lie to people when you take their money. This is actually fucked up. I normally do not do this. This is actually fucked up. I've already played Todd's words. It was the first thing I did. You guys are all coming in late to this. 
The Perseus is the next RSI capital ship in production instead of the Galaxy, purely down to the greater percentage of shared assets with the Polaris. Okay, that's, that's totally fine. I hope this clears up some confusion around the matter, and if scheduling and filming format allows, we'll discuss more on IAE. There's nothing to discuss. You're fucking lying. You lied, you took money from people, and you lied to them. There's no other way to spin this. You lied, and I never say that. You lied. And I know the person who got up on stage and lied is not at the company anymore, but you, John Crew, had to be a part of this, right? And you're still there. So now you have to take the heat for this. And I'm glad you made a post to let people know, but you deserve some serious heat. Yeah, look at this. This is the top post and it only has 63 upvotes. Uh, th this, this deserves to be destroyed. This is so crazy to me. That's the link to the post. Yeah, like this is a massive lie. This is the first time I've I really have ever used that word like seriously and not in a joking matter at all. Wow. I don't know what to say anymore. A response on this would be great. Future purchase hangs in the balance. Oh my god, shut up. Um Wow. This is really fucked up. Like, this is really bad. This is just not something you do. Right? This is so much worse than anything I've seen so far. This is worse than the Reclaimer. This is worse than uh, what? what's the Crusader ship that was like destroying everything when it came in game, so they balanced it. Uh, this is worse than yeah, the Ares, right? The Ion and Inferno. This is worse than, than the F8, the F7. Uh, the Reclaimer was, like, supposed to have an arm and break ships and all this stuff. This is a direct, like, there is no plan for this to have this thing when the biggest selling point of the ship was the plan a year ago. <laughs> That's so crazy to me. Again, I never bought the Galaxy, and the Galaxy, to be honest, is one of the... one of the, the RSI ships that I really had my eye on because I think it has the best... Um, like rear cargo area or the rear opening because it opens like a hangar. It doesn't open um, with like a ramp or anything like that. It, I was super excited for this ship. I personally didn't like the idea that it could do everything. So I think that's more of where the discussion is probably going to lie is they didn't want this do everything ship anymore but they don't want the do-everything ship after they took your $380 or $500 for all the modules, which is really, really crazy. Yep, yeah, what about the Caterpillar and, and its modules, right? Ooh, that, that's really bad. That's really, really bad. I feel so bad for you guys. I don't know what else to say. There's nothing else to say other than to continue to point this out and and continue to put this in their face until they never do something like this ever again. Wow. Wow. That yeah, that is a new low in terms of like literally robbing people of their money from this game. I've never seen anything like this from these people. That is really bad. I can't even say do better. Because if they did better than this, it would still be horrible. That's how bad this is. You literally said a ship was going to do something and then completely removed 
that idea after a year after taking people's money for it. Jeez. 